Hello, everyone. <laughs> Dope fire. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jeremy with Pink Orange. He is. And we're doing a video. Yeah. This I'm, is another guy. Yeah, I'm Pat. I'm his uh, older, much sexier brother. And the video we're actually doing today is we're going to answer questions relating to what vehicle we would use in some very random situations. Answer, my answer would be is what machine have I not used to pick up my daughter from school? I mean, I'm really happy with my Dodge Grand Caravan. It's a two Dodge Grand Caravan. 2015. I know nothing about cars. So to be fair, I picked up my daughter from school with the Sportsman ATV this week and with a school bus that is modified with a ramp in the back and it's painted gray. So I win on the dad award. For well, sure picking up your kid from school with random vehicles. Sure, yeah, I'll give you that one. Bing! One point for Jeremy. Let's move on, everybody. Okay, so you know the end of The Incredibles and the beginning of The Incredibles 2? It has that giant, like... You're not a like, superhero. No, no, no. This no. has to be a Just real machine. Just let me finish my, my sentence. So, it's got, like, that big drill at the front? That... I would use that vehicle. That is not a, that is a cartoon. It is still a vehicle. Okay, not a Pixar vehicle. Well, what, what, what would you use to smuggle drugs from Mexico? Keeping in mind, we're in Canada. Therefore, you're crossing two borders. Are we smuggling the drugs all the way to Canada? I don't know. I mean, we could go to Texas. Uh, I've never been. So but, if we're smuggling I mean, the if drugs somebody's inviting us to Texas, all the I'm way to go. Canada, I don't know. What would I use to smuggle drugs? I gotta get in the mind of a drug smuggler. A, would it, okay, would it be Can land? Can you put a saddle, a saddle on a tiger? <laughs> Have you I, seen He-Man? I feel like, I feel like a saddled up tiger would be the fucking way to go. <laughs> what, who's gonna approach you? <laughs> well, if you're going with a drill, I'm going with a saddled up tiger. Which is not a vehicle, it's an animal, but it's a mode of transportation, so. Once you put a saddle on anything, it's, it's a vehicle. baguette is it is a long piece of dry bread it's not dry no it's the outside's dry i mean if it's dry you're probably like you got a stale baguette crispy bread <laughs> you have a stale baguette a stale baguette okay <laughs> i actually have a good one for this one he i would use baguette. what would you use the classic would be a bicycle but that's cliche no i would use a strand de chevaux which is a classic french automobile that kind of looked like the Beetle if you took away half of the vehicle. And isn't there like a Peugeot? Peugeot? And Peugeot it's got like that weird like little truck thing? I don't know. Anyway, that. I, would, I think he's talking about the same vehicle I'm talking about. He just doesn't know any of them. So we would pick up bread with old French cars. Because yeah. we're in France. Yeah. And they're easy to come by. I mean, you wouldn't pick up a baguette with like a monster truck. It'd be, it'd be ostentatious. Woohoo! Big words. Big words for the big baguette. Big truck. Big words. Why are you so freaking mean? Why are you stealing puppy from a family? What did the family do? So why would you, what vehicle would you use to steal a puppy from a family? I mean, the first thing that came into mind. Cruella de Vil. Exactly. I mean, but that's, See, if that's the first thing that comes to mind, that means it's probably cliche. So what other vehicle would you use to steal a puppy from a family? Like most puppies are small, even from giant breeds. So it's not like a big deal. A bike kind of gets away nice and fast. I take the KTM. It's like a little scooter with that little box in the back there. That's not fast. So no, what, but like, me, what me. my brother Pat is referring to is a pizza delivery scooter from Europe. That. Versus 160 horsepower of pure Austrian bike. Are you talking about horses? Horses. So after we smuggled drugs, now we're picking up meth. I mean, every time there's a question, I feel like I'm, I'm thinking about like shows or movies, which is in this case is Breaking Bad, but I can't think of... Pontiac Aztec. Oh no, an El Camino. Pontiac Aztec, El Camino. I feel like that's a good duo. 
the El Camino, which is the sequel to Breaking Bad. Oh no, Bad. I got that, but the Aztec yeah. is just. Did you though? Yes. Did you though? Yeah. I mean, I knew it. Did. What machine would you use to do wee wee? To do a wheelie? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> not to help you pee. We're not that old yet. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna need a minute to, to do a wee wee. <laughs> I'm tired, man. Okay, what machine? Ah, uh, would you use to do a wheelie? To do a wheelie. Jeez. Mainly, you gotta be able to do a wheelie. Pa yeah. What vehicle would you use to do a wheelie? I wouldn't. I mean, like, we're, we live in Canada. We have free health care. I, I have health insurance. And I'm like, it's not worth the risk. I have wheelied motorcycles, snowmobiles, four-wheelers. I have wheelied the sidecar. Well, okay. So, but what would be the most epic vehicle? You're like, if I could do, if I could have any vehicle in the world, that's what I would want to, to pop a wheelie. I feel like anything that's capable of popping a wheelie is awesome. So, literally everything. But what, everything. Like awesomer. Like what? a plane. Did you wheelie a plane? They kind of wheelie when they leave. Yeah, but it's meant to do that. And I know. It, it any pilot good. can do that or else he never fucking flew. <laughs> so. I think if I was going to go with Monster Truck. Because they, they look like they're having fun. And they're like strapped in there. They like flip all over the place. They don't care. So they Pat's just get gonna out. wheelie a Monster Truck. But I won't wheelie a bicycle. So if anybody has a monster truck and is listening to this, let us know. We're going to fly out to you. So pack Is the Grave Digger truck. still around? Dude, the Grave Digger is still like, it's a franchise now. There's like really? a bunch of, yeah. Like Look at that. It, is it still around? Yeah, it's kind of the whole uh, industry. Last time I watched anything about monster trucks, it was like 97. Which other monster trucks do you remember? Like, let's go down this path. What other monster trucks do you remember? That's it. So Grave Digger? No, wait, there's a Superman one. No, are you talking about Goldberg? Which, Goldberg, which became Max D? No, now you're in like wrestling. No, Goldberg had a monster truck, which is Max D now, which is one of the best monster trucks of all time. Sure. So we're not going to go down this road because he doesn't know shit. I mean, I knew shit in 97. He wants I was also listening to the Backstreet Boys, so who am I to say? Everybody. Yeah. Once again, I'm Jeremy, this is Pat, this was Pink Orange. Thanks for listening to us ramble about things and such. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. If you like comments, this is perfect, right? Like what vehicle would you use to smuggle meth from Mexico while popping a wheelie? And this is not meant to be.